I'm sure you work hard for your money, but what if I told you each time you used an ATM, you could be potentially given an unauthorized donation in the form of your personal information to a fraudster in need? How would you feel about that? If you're okay with giving your money to fraudsters, please skip the video and have a wonderful day. If you aren't trying to have your information stolen when you use an ATM, then I need you to watch this video to stay one step ahead of these fraudsters and protect your money when using the ATM. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Infamous Ghost Money. In this video, we'll be talking about an ATM skimming technique that is nearly 100% undetectable to the naked eye, known as Deep Insert EMV Card Skimmers. We'll look at what they are, the method used to steal information with them, and of course, how you could protect yourself against them. So as always, if you find value in this video, I need you to hit that like button. It only takes a second. And also subscribe to the channel to catch more of my content on financial fraud techniques and how you could defend against them. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So first off, what are deep insert EMV skimmers? Deep insert EMV skimmers are wafer thin fraud devices made to be hidden inside of the card acceptance slots on an ATM machine. These devices are fairly easy to install and unlike standard ATM skimming devices, they are undetectable from outside of the machine. These skimmers are also able to remain powered by the electricity in the ATM machine, making it extremely convenient for fraudsters to use it. Now, these devices are so dangerous because they have the ability to read and copy the data from your EMV card chips. The data captured from the chip is enough for fraudsters to make fraud online purchases and also make cloned cards. Frosters also like to take it a step further by installing an extremely discreet pinhole camera onto the ATM, allowing them to capture your ATM pin number, which now gives them the ability to withdraw cash directly from the ATM with a clone card. I did some very simple Google searching and that led me to find plenty of websites that sold all sorts of deep insert skimmer kits with an average price of around $1,500, which sounds like a great investment considering the potential return these frosters could get. Now, as far as the method, frosters are extremely brazen in the way that they install these devices, considering nearly all ATMs have 24 seven surveillance and also considering that they usually target ATMs that get heavy traffic, which increases the chances of someone catching them in the act. With that being said, the first step frosters take in carrying out EMV skimming is targeting an ATM that gets a decent amount of traffic, but isn't heavily inspected. This will increase the probability that the scammer will not get detected when the ATM is serviced for cash reloading and also pulling out the deposits. When it comes to installing the skimmer into the machine, that part is fairly simple since most of these kits come with a tool that allows the fraudster to jam the skimmer in place deep into the ATM card terminal. Once it's in place, the next step is installing the pinhole camera, which is what I find the most interesting. Frosters usually do this by placing an extra item on the ATM such as a mirror or a brochure holder with a very tiny hole that allows the camera to get a very clear view of the pin pad. Another method that's even more crazy is when scammers pull off existing parts of the ATM, put a tiny hole into it, install the camera, and then put it back into place. This can include parts such as the plastic around the cash dispenser, the overhead ATM lighting, the pin pad privacy guards, it could really be anything, as long as it could be pulled off and have a clear line of sight of the pin pad. Once all of this is in place, the frosters do a couple of trial runs to make sure everything is running and then they leave the device in the ATM to steal hundreds of credit and debit card numbers over the span of a couple hours or even several days. 
Now, once they're ready to collect the skimmer using the same tool that they use to install it, they're able to easily pull it right out of the machine. And they also remove the hidden cameras that they installed and return to the lab to download all the data that they were able to capture. Now, many people may wonder, since ATMs have 24 seven surveillance, how the hell are these people able to pull this off? The reason for this is because banks have thousands of ATMs all over, making it impossible for an actual person to sit there all day watching ATM surveillance. Now, ATMs do have security features in place that set off a silent alarm to the bank's security to indicate potential tampering, but this security could also send off many false alarms when people are just simply too rough for inserting their card or removing their cards from the machine. So I'd imagine many of these alarms are probably not taken seriously. The main way that these fraudsters get caught is when enough customer fraud complaints come through that are tied to a single ATM, which lead bank security and local police to monitor these specific ATMs a lot more closely. It really shows that there's an opportunity for banks to have a more proactive approach towards defending against these skimmers. With that being said, once the fraudster has your information, they could do several different things with it, as mentioned earlier, such as online card fraud with the basic data that they gathered from the device. They can make clone cards and use the pin numbers that they capture to try and withdraw cash. And they can also just go ahead and sell the information to other fraudsters online. Now, when it comes to defending against these skimmers, the best thing you could do is examine the ATM before you use it. Look out for any weird looking panels that look out of place that might got random little tiny holes in it. Does the card insert panel look like it's been tampered with or you could wiggle it around? But really the best defense is when you're inputting your pin number, do your best to cover the pin pad with your hands. So in the event there is a camera there, it'll be a lot harder to see what you're typing in. As easy as it is to pull off this crime, it's also extremely easy to get caught. ATM skimming carries federal charges such as identity theft, bank fraud, money laundering, wire fraud, and access device fraud. And the time spent behind bars is nothing to laugh at either. In 2020, Bogdan Rusu, a Romaine national, formerly resided in Queens, New York, was sentenced to 60 months in prison, followed by three years of supervised release for participating in the scheme that used secret card reading devices and pinhole cameras on various New Jersey bank locations to steal at least $390,000. Russo engaged in a widespread bank fraud conspiracy that targeted various banks in Massachusetts, New York, and New Jersey. Russo and his co-conspirators captured payment card information from customers as they accessed their accounts through ATMs and then used that information to steal money from customers' bank accounts. Another recent case in September 2021, Doronel Trofin, another Romanian national, was sentenced to 54 months in prison for his role in the conspiracy to steal bank information from thousands of customers by installing secret card reading devices and pinhole cameras on ATMs throughout New Jersey and elsewhere. Trofin admitted he was part of an ATN skimming scheme that stole bank account information by installing hidden card reading devices on ATMs throughout northern and central New Jersey. Trofin previously acknowledged that he and his co-conspirators created bank cards using fraudulently obtained account information, which they used to unlawfully withdraw large amounts of cash from various ATMs. The scheme, which involved actual and attempted losses, exceeded $1.5 million and impacted over 1,000 bank customers. What the heck is it about Romanians and ATM skimming? So with that being said, that's the video on ATM deep insert skimming. I just wanted to drop this video real quick because these are definitely popping up all over the place and I need you guys to look out for it. So if you found value in the video, please don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel to catch more of my content. So with that being said, peace.